What is up? Welcome to this basic plugin development tutorial for After Effects. Today I'm gonna go into the introduction. We're gonna create an effect right here. You can apply that effect to objects and it's gonna be great. So what's the difference between After Effects plugins and just scripting for After Effects? So with scripting you can do, you, you can edit like all the objects in here and you can like with scripting you can actually do the same things as all these buttons do but you just call them via script. With After Effects plugins, you just create these buttons. You can create these whole interfaces and you can create new menu items and you can like edit and the audio and video data completely uh, in, in the compositions. So it's way more powerful, but it's also more difficult because scripting uses extend script from JavaScript. It's an extended form of JavaScript. But plugins use C++, so I'm gonna assume you know the basics of C++, I'm gonna throw some terms at you like array, like a lot of different terms, variables and, and all that stuff. You need to know the basics, okay? Otherwise you can't follow it. I, I am gonna hold your hand a little bit on how to do everything, but I'm not going to go very deep in it. So let's start. Um, first of all, you wanna go to After, I'm gonna go to Google, type in After Effects SDK. So what we're going to do now is going to download the SDK, which are some sample projects that you can just use and build from there. So you get some code and you can build from there. So you're going to download the After Effects plugin SDK. I'm going to download the 2019 one. It's great for Windows release one. If you're going to use Mac, you're going to code in Xcode. If you're going to use Windows, we're going to code in Visual Studio. So you download this one and then we're going to if you don't have it already, download Visual Studio. Now you want to download the Community Edition. And then you'll see something like this. This is the installer for Visual Studio. And you're, you're going to get some like questions and maybe you won't know what to answer on these questions. So you're going to like need to like check all these boxes, right? But which one you want to check? Well, the C++ one. And I also got the Windows Universal CRT SDK, which I don't know if it's, you really need that one, but I got an error, so I downloaded that one and then it worked. So you're gonna click that one and then the, the other one right here, and then you're gonna install it. I already installed it, so that's great. And then we're gonna start Visual Studio and we're gonna start it in administrator mode. Now you have these, the SDK right here, we're gonna extract it. Here you have the SDK, you have a guide, which just tells you how you need to program and how the API of After Effects works. Um, but video is way cooler. So just watch my video and don't don't read this. No, <laughs> you, should, you actually should read this if you're really interested. But you can also watch my videos and learn via video. I, I don't like reading that much, so. That's why I make these videos. So here you have examples, and these are just a lot of example projects. You can open in Visual Studio, and you can go through them and just look a little bit how everything works. So for this one, we're gonna create a basic effect. So we're just gonna go with a template right here, and with this solution. So we're gonna open it in Visual Studio, which I just opened in administrator mode, and we open it in administrator mode because uh, we want to we want to write and build things. We want to build the project into the program files. And if you don't start it in administrator mode, you can't the the program can't get to the uh, program files and build it in there. So you need to do that. Otherwise, it's going to be annoying, very annoying. So now we build it. Uh, we create it. Now we have this project right here. This is how it all works. Nice code, everything. So then we wanna, when we like click this debugger window, we wanna build the plugin, and then we're automatically wanna add it to After Effects, and then we also wanna start After Effects to test our plugin, right? So we wanna code in here, and then just click there, and then we wanna start it. So how we do that is we go here, click Alt Enter, and then we have an output directory here. So this is where we want to build the plugin. So when you click there, it's gonna build a plugin in this in this path, which is 
C program files, Adobe support files, plugin my builds. Um, now this is a macro and all the all the project automatically have After Effect plugin build there. So so you you won't have this macro automatically installed on your PC. So if you want to do that, you're gonna go to this PC and go to properties and advanced system settings, environment variables, all these big ass words, and then name the variable IE plugin build there because that it needs to match the one that's in here, and then. Point the the point it to where you want to build the plugin. So I'm gonna go to support file plugins my builds. I just created a new folder my builds. I'm gonna build everything in there, and we want another one because when we click play, we also want to run After Effects right to test the plugin. So we have also the AE run path, and it points to the After Effects.exe. So go ahead and create that. Create those environment variables. Um, and then you want to restart your, your uh, Visual Studio and then you have them available right here and you can click OK and for debugging then we want to when we debug we want to start After Effects right so we're gonna go to macros and we want to click on this one so we're gonna start After Effects if we run it apply and everything is cool now so I'm gonna go and just debug and show you the, the little thing that, that's gonna build here. So I'm gonna debug, put a thing right there, click the debugger. And now it's just gonna start After Effects, build the plugin, and it will be available in the effects panel. So this is great, it, it does everything for us. Look, it starts After Effects, it's great. And gladly I have an SSD so it's fast too. So go to project, new composition, create a new solid. And now we're going to apply the effect to this solid. And as you can see in the effect, we have a new thing called sample plugins, skeleton. And when I click on skeleton, as you can see, um, it goes through this code or it goes through this block global setup because it sets the effect up. So now it hits this one and you can see that you, you can so go through the code like this and you can see when um, After Effects interacts with our plugin. So that's great if you want to debug everything. You can see all the variables right here. I'm going to just continue. As you can see, we have the gain. We can adjust the gain. It's a great, great effect. You can't find it anywhere else. So that's the basics right here. In the next video, I'm going to go into more of how all this code works and how the API for After Effects works so see you in the next video.